follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that we are packing up the Patriot, getting some cars ready. We're going out to test them today. So we're sort of moving into an area that I find really interesting, which is the engineering, testing, certification, just all of the shit that nobody ever does. I find that exciting. Today we are going out to the driving facility in Townsville to do some LT2 testing, which is a lane change test. You might have to pass a lane change test if you have a body lift. So I, my car had to pass one. Or if you have a high lift. Trailer at the moment is extremely heavy. Normally, when we go camping, it's about one ton. I reckon it would be about 1.5 at the moment. Either way, I tow in fourth gear. Here in this box is a overdrive gear. So it's like 1 to 0.8 ratio. Um, fourth gear is a 1 to 1 drive. It's just not ideal to be putting a type of load straight on that fifth gear. There are fifth gear upgrades that you can do. I just use a little bit more fuel, that's all towing in for. My tires are undersized, so when I'm doing 100, I'm actually doing 97, because my 33s that everyone thinks are 35 actually measure out of 31. How funny is perception? I used to average about 14 litres per 100 on the 34s, and I average about 16 litres on these tires. <laughs> I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. Still I'm at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it off the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody know. Watch him take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, push it to the limit, I can't go no more. Red light, no way I'm coming back home. Hold on, hold on, my own. I'ma be the greatest, draw my name in the stone. Draw my name in the stone. The next day so we've just come back from doing our test track yesterday so the trailer is still super packed please excuse me talking looking really weird um, i get really bad ulcers when i get stressed or like run down and tired my mum gets them as well so i'm gonna blame her yeah so to compensate for it hurting my mouth must move weird and I see it too, don't worry. But yeah, no, I don't have a speech impediment. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> yeah, these are the last sores that I've sort of gotten since I was like very little, but obviously I didn't have many stresses back then. It does stop me doing a lot of videos sometimes. Same with streaming. I want to stream. It kind of revolves around me talking and being interactive and it's so painful to talk, so yeah. That's just an update on my weird medical issues. Pretty much to this day, the thing that 100% works every time is gargle with salt water. Does the job. Not enjoyable. I got a recommendation to use these. So they are a form of Velcro. So I'm going to put... <laughs> ow! Ow, 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 ow. There we go. I'm going to put these where the magnets are for the armrests. If you watched the other mod video, you would have seen us fitting them and just how much looser they are than the ones on the 75. But I just want to see if they work first. I want to test it out. This is the remnants of what people, when they put tape over it, when this trim starts, you know, cracking and getting sun damaged. This is the one I bought. I don't know if this was the one recommended. So apparently that's what they call dual lock technology. Oh, 
Okay, so the Velcro idea didn't work. <laughs> because of the two Velcros sitting really close together, it actually pushed the armrest out even further than what Trim does. So back to the original plan, double side tape. This is 3M stuff. And it's nice and thin. So we'll give that a go. This one, I actually took the little rubber covers off the magnet, so it's much easier to stick a double-sided tape to it. These are the things I think that people don't realize when they buy old cars, so you buy an old car. Nothing is probably gonna go straight on. Awesome that a lot of um, companies now are starting to make products for older vehicles because people are still buying them and, you know, new cars suck. But yeah, you've gotta realize that <laughs> even if you buy something for your car, the likelihood that it's gonna go straight on your car is rare. It's something you've gotta be aware of when buying an old car. Everything kind of is a little bit, takes longer. <laughs> a lot of people underestimate double-sided tape. My badge that was on my old plastic snorkel was double-sided taped for like seven years. How people without nails work on cars, I'll never know. I use my nails for so much shit. Sticky boys. I'm I am happy with that. Like you watched in the last video, I was just pushing this off. So I think that's gonna be way better. Why you play? Come here. <laughs> I'm so red. Did not. Put the sunscreens on. I was there and I was like, oh, I wish I brought a hat. <laughs> I had to move the hats. And we did my pass. So I was like, I'll take these hats off so they don't fall down. And then I was like, hey, hat. <laughs> I don't think you can tell that I'm sunburned. I still look sunburned. Yeah, that was bad. I just was a bit. Your forehead's very brown. 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 Brown cow. I just parked my car in the most un-car park spot and I'm embarrassed now. I do not think that there's anything special but my car is quite recognizable. So like every time there's something wrong with my car or it's like sticks out, people remember it. They're like, oh no, that was that, that car. And there's no doubt in their mind that it was my car because there is no other car like mine. So I may or may not be in today's paper. Speaking of, there's nothing special about me. My auntie just sent me a screenshot of the towns of Bulletin. So Jay's just gone to buy some papers because mum wants one as well. I didn't have the green milk. Oh, Scum. the green milk sucks. Double espresso is where it's at. <laughs> now my feet are in the newspaper. For free. My exposed feet. You can't even get paid for that. I know, what a stitch up. That's me. I'm number six. Next to the porn star lady. <laughs> and one a paper. <laughs> So, yeah, it's like, I'm not gonna lie, I've, it's cool, but what I'm in the newspaper for? Mm. Like, my mum will love this. I am somebody who, from day one, has replied to every single message. Like, every comment and everything on my YouTube, like, I try and reply immediately, no matter what I'm doing or where I am. Put in the effort for it. I used to think, you know, like, anybody can be, anybody can get a following, anyone can get big, but eight years now I've been on social media, like, people come and they, get to a point where it gets really big and then it must just get too much and they stop and I just haven't. <laughs> I think that is something to be proud of but at the same time the days I got my trade certificates was more like proud of that like I feel like that's more of achievement even though it's not the hardest trade to do like it's not a uni degree I felt more achieved then because I have a physical skill where I feel like social media content creation is like a dedication thing like you just have to be dedicated and you don't stop ever. You just keep going. I feel like anybody can do it, but not 
everybody can do it for eight years. <laughs> I've seen most things now. I've seen people come and go. I've just been doing this a long time. It would be cool one day to be in the paper for <laughs> other type of achievement, but at the same time, I'm, I am proud of what, what I have done and how I haven't given up. A lot of people have. I'm not someone who's ever gonna probably do this full time because I, I like my job <laughs> and I like my hands-on job. I feel like content creation is something where you give out to the community, but you don't actually get a lot back. In terms of skills, I mean, kind of stop growing and you help others grow, but you yourself aren't getting any skills or anything from it. It's all fun and games, it's all good fun. We all help each other, we all inspire each other, we have a laugh, it's good entertainment, but I like learning with my hands, I like doing something, you know? If you had a real big passion for videography or media production, if you're a photographer, I think content creation then can 100% make a living of doing that and, and have a real skill from it and a real something viable that you can sell and use. I think because this isn't my main job, I have this ability to not take things so seriously. I don't have to take every offer that's offered to me. I don't have to be sponsored and self-sufficient from my other two jobs. Like I can just do what I like without the pressure of being like, oh, I've got to eat this week and pay rent. I better take this sponsorship deal. So that's just my two cents. And I think this is cool, but at the same time, like don't sit up and think I'm sitting here going, fuck yeah, I am better than everyone. When everyone at work brought this up, I just go like full red. I'd probably be red now if I wasn't sun sunburn in the face. But yeah, that I guess all I wanted to say on that topic. The Sanu and gravy boy. Why do we get stuff like this and then the first thing we think is, I wonder if it'd hurt. Are you not liking this process? You look very grumpy. What you doing? What's your little mozzy boy doing? It's a little mozzy. So yes, thank you everybody for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, comment what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys. Open up my heart and you'll find me. You don't ever have to look too far You don't have to cover up your scars